Hi guys. How's everybody doing? Just because we're not in the Wolf Pit Library doesn't mean I can't read to you. I have chosen a book today called A Funny Thing Happened at the Museum. And I'm going to read it to you um, as a recording. Now, if you've ever been to a museum, you know that there are things in the museum you usually can't touch. You're supposed to walk by and look at them. Of course, there are different kinds of museums. There's children's museums where, of course, you can interact, you can get in the exhibits, you can take part, you can play. But this wasn't that kind of a museum that Henry was going to. This was just a field trip through school to look at um, the things that are in the museum. The problem is Henry missed the bus to go to the field trip. I'm not sure exactly how we got there, but in the beginning of the book, it's kind of like the end because the teacher's saying, so what did you think of our field trip to the museum, Henry? And Henry is saying, well, it wasn't exactly what I expected. So now he got there late and he kind of did everything on his own. And he's telling the teacher that as soon as I walked in, I got, I got trampled by a triceratops. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, I found safety in a family of Neanderthals. Now Neanderthals are um, like cavemen. They don't really exist anymore. That's why there's an ex um, exhibit of them at the library. To thank them for their help, I entertained them with my balloon making skills. Now what's kind of funny here is the Neanderthals are coming to life in this um, picture. So that is a funny thing at the museum. Even the dog is blowing up balloons. You notice he'll take his dog with him on all of the exhibits today. But then I was chased away by a herd of buffalo. And suddenly there was a loud boom. Henry got stuck in a volcano exhibit and got pushed up into the sky by the lava. Fake lava, but you know what I mean. So I ran out of there as fast as I could, but I accidentally broke something on the way. Because he wasn't supposed to be running in a museum. I tried my best to put it back together. I don't think they look the same. That's what happens when you're doing things you're not supposed to do. Then I was briefly detained by a lively sculpture. And that sculpture looks like it's made of a lot of wheels. And he may go tossing off the end of it. I see his teacher and his classmates over there, not even realizing that Henry is there. Thankfully, I was rescued by another sculpture. He got thrown right into the arms of that one. After all that action, I decided to catch my breath. And in this picture, Henry and his dog are in a glass case in the museum. I don't know how they got there, but they shouldn't be. Then I got lost on an unusual stairwell. Now, does this stairwell go up or down or round and round? Really can't tell. Next, I entered a secret passage. And to me, this looks like the basement where they keep the things they're not using, maybe furniture covered in sheets. It was a real mess down there. So I just had to put things in order. I really cleaned all over. And here's him and his dog scrubbing the whale, washing him. 
and there are droplets of water, which you probably can't see, falling down on his classmates. I took care of a few other things too. Now, I cut the hair on the mammoth. He put bows in the mammoth's hair. That's a little bizarre. Shouldn't be doing that in a museum. Oh, then I happened to notice some paintings that weren't finished. If you've ever gone to a museum, I'm sure you've seen paintings that look like um, just a mess. Or you say to yourself, I could have painted that better. I could have done something better than that artwork. But every artist paints what's in their mind and to what to them what they do is very special. And I'm sure Mrs. DeForest has shown you pictures that you're like, that's art? Well, anyway, this was art. And Henry did a very bad thing adding details to the pictures. He's writing with pencil and adding all kinds of um, different things to the pictures that weren't there before. That's like not a good thing to do to somebody's famous artwork. I really applied myself. He's painting a picture of his dog in this one. Remember, this isn't a children's studio, so I don't know why he's doing these things. By then it was getting late and I really needed to find our class. I had no problem spotting them. But joining them wasn't that easy. Now he's going through an exhibit that has all kinds of cactus plants in it. Those are very sharp and prickly and I'm sure it wasn't comfortable. Luckily, I, decide, I discovered a way to reach them quickly. He's on kind of, some kind of boomerang exhibit now. But I probably misunderstood the directions. There's him and his dog flying above the class. And I landed in really unexplored territory. To me, that looks like um, he's landing on a planet in the solar system in a space exhibit. Oh, sure enough, suddenly I felt far away from everyone. But that didn't last long. He came sliding down, joined his class. And he says to a te his teacher, and that's what happened at the museum. Well, Henry, it sounds like you had fun after all. Maybe one day you too will be an artist. Who, me? I really don't think so, said Henry. But if you notice the line waiting outside the museum, when we go and turn the page, there's all these people in the museum looking at the things that Henry created with what was there, even the portrait of his dog. So I think people have dis think they discovered a new artist and they're so excited to see his artwork. Henry thinks he isn't an artist, but lots of times we don't see what's inside of us. Many of us really are artists in our own way, or we're all special in our own way. So that is my story of a funny thing that happened at the museum. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for another book soon. Take care. Stay healthy.